You know, it's sad when Battlefield 2042, a game that was slammed to shit on release, has a more active player base than a free-to-play Halo game. There's something wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> As some of you may have already known, the wonderful heads at 343 decided to release a video, a very stellar video, talking about the updates of Halo Infinite. Holy shit, is it the funniest news I've seen in a while. Now I'm someone that I actually kind of was looking forward to Halo Infinite a year ago, and then it came out, and the campaign sucked. I was like, I'll just wait for co-op. I guess I have to wait until fucking March. <laughs> What kind of shit is that? You know, it's also really sad when Elden Ring, a game that came out in February, has a co-op mod made by three people, and it's out, and it runs really, really good, and it's open world, and more dense than Halo Infinite's open world. Just really, really let that sink in for a moment. Isn't that just a sad, pathetic thing to live in? At this point, Microsoft should just grab the double barrel, take the Halo IP out in the back, and just put it out of its misery. Because this is fucking pathetic. I mean, holy shit. They just keep fucking up every single time, and it's hilarious. There is an issue when the Master Chief Collection is getting more updates than Halo Infinite. Like... What? That is so backwards. Your brand new, well not brand new anymore, but your newest IP in the franchise barely has been getting any updates. And what is it? I haven't been keeping up with it, but like the last season came out with two maps and now you're gonna have to wait until March for another two maps and another gun. Just god damn. What happened to that whole plan of like, yeah, every three months we'll have a new season. <laughs> I guess that went out the fucking window. Holy shit. The heads that are in charge at 343 really need to get their shit together. Holy fuck. This whole franchise is just crumbling. It's crumbled. It's gone. Like, it's, it's fucking stardust at this point. The only people that are still playing Halo Infinite are the ones that are in denial that the game is fucking crap at the moment. I'm someone that doesn't even like the multiplayer in Halo games, and I could look at the Halo Infinite multiplayer and be like, wow, that is pathetic. The campaign is is also very pathetic. I don't understand why people like the Halo Infinite campaign. It's fucking crap. But, you know, people sell on mediocrity these days. I also got in a great conversation with someone talking about the player base of this game. And I, I guess this is a normal argument that's going around that it makes me laugh. The argument that we shouldn't be using Steam numbers to prove that Halo Infinite is dead. And it's just like, okay, first of all, you're a fucking idiot because you understand there's like 150 million people online on Steam daily, right? And it's a free to play game. Why would I go to Game Pass? for a free-to-play game. Oh, for the campaign? Most people that played the campaign, I can guarantee you did the exact same thing I did. Those 150 million people probably bought Game Pass for $1 for three months when the game launched, played it maybe for the first week, and then just noticed it was dog shit and left. And it probably went back to multiplayer for a little bit and even noticed that was even dog shit and left. Just Microsoft. If you were listening to this, which I doubt it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Put the franchise to bed. Just, just shoot it down, okay? Don't, don't do anything else. <laughs> like, <laughs> shut down 343 Studios, shut down the Halo IP, and just do something else, because clearly Halo is just too much for you, and it's really funny seeing you fail. Anyways, fuck off, I'm done.